Previously on Hunted. Last night, my whole pack just disappeared. Once again, there's still nothing there. What did I ever do to you? I don't even know who you are. There's this one person, specifically, that I was really close to. That. No, I'm sorry, Jeremy. We didn't find him. I'm gonna find him, and none of you are gonna stop me. Who was that? My ex-girlfriend, Lassa. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, uh, why did you leave so suddenly? Well, so the main reason was probably my brother. I don't think she's telling the whole truth about why she left. Why did you tackle me in the first place? Because you've been following me around and you tried to kill me! But that's not me. So you're not trying to kill me. Uh, no, I don't even really know you. <sighs> oh great, what do you want? Lhasa? Yeah, yeah, I I'm fine. I just saw, I just remembered something. I gotta go, bye Lhasa. <laughs> Where'd you brought off to? Well, I thought I saw the pig and, and then I followed and then I know who's after me. The band cut? Are you okay? What happened? No, no, it wasn't the band okay. It's Lassa. But why would Lassa. What? I don't know. I just. You said it yourself. I'd be able to recognize the sound of the footsteps, right? And. And she never asked what was wrong with my shoulder. She just kind of. I don't know. She. she ne she just randomly showed up on your doorstep one day and no, no one does it for that. I, I don't know. I just, I've, I've been wrong before. I just, I don't know. Her showing up right after you got back, that, that's probably just a coincidence. And she probably didn't ask about your shoulder because she was trying to be nice. I know, but what if what if it's not a coincidence? I, I got to know her. I almost trusted her. W what if that's what she wanted? What if she just wanted to get close to me so she, she could kill me? Why on earth would Lassa do something like that? No, but you said it yourself. You thought she was hiding something. Yeah, but not something like this. Why won't you consider this? Because I refuse to think that Lassa is a murderer. But what if she is? She's not. I mean, think about this. When, when you collapsed, she, instead of leaving you there, she brought you in here. Would a murderer do that? Why was she outside at the very same moment that I was? I don't know, maybe she wanted to come over to talk to me. I mean, you said she wanted to try to speak to me again. Okay, well then why was she at the store at the very same time we were? Ace, do you hear yourself? Why won't you believe me? Because Ace, you sound like a crazy person. I'm Ben, if you won't help me, I'll find someone else who will. Ace, Ace, come back. I guess it doesn't really matter if it's lost or not. I still wouldn't know what to do. Whoever it is would still be after me. Nothing would have really changed. I guess I thought if I knew who it was, maybe something would change. Maybe that this would almost be over. You want this to be over? I think I can help with that. Oh, put the gun down! I don't think you understand what's going on here. No, I don't think you understand what's going on here. You see, I want this to be over just as much as you do, Ace. But my idiot sister can't do anything right, and she's forced me to come out here and do it myself. Now, I would suggest moving away from that African wild dog. I'm not just gonna stand by and let you shoot my friend! That African wild dog probably isn't even your real friend. He's just impersonating him. What? what? Come on, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I honestly don't. Just drop the act already, I know what you are. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, either you're still lying or my sister messed up again. Well, I'm still gonna have to kill you either way. Put the gun down. Marvel? And what are you gonna do if I don't? I'm so scared. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna hit me with your necklace? Then what are you gonna do, huh? This. What the? This is gonna be the last time you hurt my friends. What did you do to him? 
him. Don't worry, he's not dead yet. What just happened? Lasso, where did you come from? Um, I, uh... So, Lasso wasn't the one after me? It was that guy? Well, that's not entirely true. Okay, and what's that supposed to mean? Oh, that guy? He's my brother. Duh, he had powers, sort of like marbles, but I, different. And he was the only one out of my siblings, except for one of my sisters that had powers. Her powers were stronger than his, and he grew jealous. He wanted attention, which was hard to come by in my family. So one night, me and my brother snuck out to the same library. Are you sure this is such a good idea? Everything's gonna be fine. Just trust me. Okay. The book should be around here somewhere. Just gonna find it. Is that it? I think so, and if I'm right, which I probably am, <laughs> this should work. Did it work? I'm not sure. I don't feel any different. Well, we should probably head home before anyone realizes we're gone. Alright, let's go. This spell did work, but not without consequences. Who are you? And how did you get in my room? Lasta, calm down. It's me, Victor. What? But what happened? I don't know, but I think it might have something to do with that spell. But you have to help me fix this, please. Okay. My brother had gotten himself cursed. The way it worked was every day he would change to another animal and it drove him crazy. He blamed it on me. And I felt bad for him and I didn't want this to happen to him. So I agreed to help him reverse the curse. The problem was he wanted to keep the powers he gained when he got the curse. He tried many different things but nothing seemed to work. And my brother wasn't exactly the easiest person to work with. And I eventually got fed up with him and I stopped helping him. And shortly after I met you some days. But my brother followed me and he convinced me to help him again. He said that this would be the last thing and if it didn't work he was going to leave me alone. But he wouldn't let me tell Sundance what was going on. And my brother made me break all ties with him. Which is why I left so suddenly. My brother wouldn't tell me what I was doing until after I left Sundance. He told me that I had to kill a shapeshifter. That in doing so, something would happen and his curse would be removed. He told me that someone in Isu's pack was a shapeshifter. And that the person would be obvious because they wouldn't fit in. Protested. I'm... I wasn't just gonna go kill some person for him, that was just wrong. But he told me that this shapeshifter had hurt or and possibly killed lots of people. And that I would be a, doing a good thing by removing this person. So I left to find the pack and at first I wasn't really sure who it was. It was either you or that African wild dog named Skylar. But you didn't really seem to fit in, so I thought it was you. So when you were asleep, I brought you away from your pack and I was going to, well, kill you. But then you woke up and you started panicking and you ran away. And I didn't find you until I went to Sundance's house. I wanted to explain to him everything that I could before I had to. But he didn't want to talk to me, so... And I found out that the two of you were friends, which made it harder for me. But I kept telling myself that you weren't his real friend, you were just pretending to be. But I couldn't do it, and I missed hitting you in the shoulder instead. And I kept running into you, and I got to know you. And I realized, shapeshifter or not, you didn't deserve to die. And I told my brother I was done, that I didn't want to do this anymore. But then you found out it was me, and my brother went after you. And well, you know the rest. <sighs> you thought I was a what? 
This doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. <sighs> Great, where'd she go now? I lost her. Can we all just go home now? Yeah, let's go. I thought you'd be halfway across the country by now. I'm going to be leaving soon. I'm gonna head back to my island, for real this time. I'm done with my brother, and I honestly never want to see him again. But I, I wanted to say goodbye first. I, I really do like you, Ace. And I wish I could have gotten on you better. <laughs> goodbye, Ace. So, like, what exactly just happened? I'm not entirely sure myself. I don't think I'll ever be sure. But, uh, why exactly did you take off your necklace and... How did the Golden Retriever turn into a white tiger, or back into a white tiger, I guess? <laughs> I honestly have no idea. Well, the reason I took off my necklace was because this isn't really a normal necklace. It's a protection necklace that my mother gave me, and she also gave one to both my siblings. But, um, mine isn't just a protection necklace. It kind of prevents me from using my powers to hurt anyone, but I did that on purpose because I didn't want to, like, get mad and unintentionally hurt someone. So, yeah. Now as how the Golden Retriever turned into a white tiger, I have no clue. I don't even know what I did, I just was trying to protect you and Ace, so I really have no idea. Hey, I'm gonna head to bed, which I'm not entirely sure I haven't been there this entire time. <laughs> okay, well, we'll be out here if you need anything. <laughs> what are you doing? Look, now I'm from a tropical island because I have a flower in my fur. <laughs> okay, so if you're a girl from a tropical island, what does that make me? A horrible wild beast that has come to steal my food. Oh, yes, and you might just have to watch out because once I'm in your food, I might go after you. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Only one thing you can do. You have to kill the wild beast before it kills you. Oh no, I could never do such a thing. Well, what else can you do? I will teach the wild beast how to be a normal person and then we shall live a happy life. <laughs> we need to stop thinking about our ace. <sighs> Lassa! Are you still out here? I didn't get to say goodbye. Ace! What? Jeremy? <laughs> What are you doing here? Well, you disappeared and no one knew where you were and I went to find you and then I got lost and then I went down this road and thought maybe that you went down it so I followed it and looking for you here and this place is so big. I couldn't find you. That's surprisingly kind of what I did. I thought you all disappeared so I went looking for you but then I got lost. Then I found this road and I followed it and I was gonna get help to find you but then some other stuff happened. Well, at least I found you, so everything's good now. Yeah, it's all good now. Well, it's uh, getting dark. Um, here, come with me. Where are we going? The pack is this way. We're just going somewhere to sleep. Going in there? Oh, that's right. I don't know what any of this is. Uh, here. Uh, no, it, it, just uh, follow me. I know somewhere else. Uh, here, you can stay out here for tonight. And I'll uh, show you around tomorrow. Okay, I'm just gonna go inside that thing. You should be fine out here for tonight. Okay, uh, just be careful. <laughs> okay, I will. Morning, Ace. Morning, Sundance. Hey, uh, there's this African wild dog in my backyard, and I think he's been there all night. Would you know anything about that by any chance? Because if not, then I... I think I got a problem. Wait, so that wasn't a dream? 
Um, I don't think so. I'll be right back, Sunhands. I just, I gotta go. Okay, but wait, I, I still know who the African wild dog is. You survived! <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes I did.